Hey, what's up guys, it's Matt with The Movement System. Today we're gonna to break down the difference between beta oxidation and lipolysis. When we think about fat burning, it kind of involves a couple different metabolic processes. We're just gonna give you the big picture overview. Let's go ahead and dive into it. Okay, so whether you just ate a burger or you're breaking down an adipocyte, a fat cell, we're gonna end up at a triglyceride. This triglyceride molecule, just to be really simple here guys, is just a glycerol backbone and some fatty acid chains. So we have a three carbon glycerol backbone and then a carbon chain here, here, and here. So these are just carbon chains. When we're talking about the process of lipolysis, lipolysis is just splitting the glycerol backbone from the fatty acid chain. So if we just come and we split and make that a now a free fatty acid and this a separate glycerol, that's the process of lipolysis. And that's done by the enzyme lipase. Okay, so now that we have these free fatty acids floating around, what can happen to those is coenzyme A can actually come and attach to the two carbons, the alpha and the beta carbon here, at the end of that fatty acid chain and break that two carbon chain off, and then we call that acetyl-CoA. So acetyl-CoA is a two carbon molecule that came from a fatty acid chain. So just like sushi, you're gonna basically cut up all this big long 20 or 22 carbon chain into little two carbon acetyl-CoA molecules that can then go to the Krebs cycle. So again, the process of beta oxidation is taking the free fatty acid and breaking it up into two carbon acetyl-CoA molecules that can then go to the Krebs cycle. And then if you're curious what happens to glycerol over here, that free glycerol molecule when it's not attached to the fatty acid chains anymore can actually go through a process called gluconeogenesis and become glucose. So if you want to learn more about the details of this or the details of other bioenergetic processes, I will link other videos that I've done in the description below. But this is really just to give you the big picture overview of what's going on with this process. Hopefully that's been helpful for you. If it was, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to learn more from videos like this, go ahead and subscribe for more. See you in the next one.